So Denton Loudermill is seeking $75,000 in damages for what Republican Congressman Tim Burchett wrote about him on social media following that deadly shooting here at Union Station. In the days following the chaos at the Chiefs victory rally on Valentine's Day, you may remember seeing these posts on X made by U.S. Congressman Tim Burchett, a Republican from Tennessee. The man in red is Olathe resident Denton Loudermill, who the congressman called one of the shooters and an illegal alien. Both of those statements are false. I just want him to be held accountable for what he did and said to me. Loudermill is now suing the congressman for $75,000, saying the posts have resulted in death threats and mental distress like anxiety. My kids are going through some things too of hearing, you know, people asking them questions and stuff like that. So I just don't want to be this known. Loudermill and his attorney spoke to the media at the Olathe Public Library this afternoon, outlining the case and the impact it's had on his life in the weeks since. If the congressman and others had, um, you know, just owned the misinformation, it wouldn't have felt so uh, intentional or like a, a disregard for the damage that was done uh, to Mr. Loudermill. Kansas City Police initially detained Loudermill, something they did to many people on February 14th, but released him soon after, saying he had nothing to do with the shooting. Despite that, the congressman's damaging posts received millions of views and more than 20,000 retweets. Loudermill is now demanding a jury trial in Kansas City, Kansas. I need him to apologize and to, to spread the word that I am not the guy that he said I was. And at this point, I think we've all done enough talking and it's time for action. We did call the congressman's DC office earlier today for comment, but no one picked up the phone there. In the meantime, Loudermill has set up a GoFundMe to help cover his legal expenses. We've included a link to that inside this story at fox4kc.com.